Mean Bean trailer. I'm sitting inside this brand new 2020 Mean Bean and just wanted to walk you through the features this afternoon. So first starting with our tri-fold four inch full mattress. Um, it's in its couch mode right now. It's super comfortable, especially on a rainy day. Um, also wanted to show you the uh, interior flooring that we have. Uh, this is a resin composite uh, material that we're using that has an armadillo bed liner. Super durable to be able to throw your gear in here in travel mode. Um, as you can see, it does have the four tie down positions uh, so that you can use a bungee cargo net. Um, we also have the under floor storage. Uh, it's large enough to be able to carry this clean waste portable toilet um, and all of your travel accessories. Moving towards the front of the trailer, it features our standard luggage pan, um, which has the dimple die construction so that you can put uh, firewood, you can put tanks of water here on the front. Um, also uh, designed to be able to accept the front runner uh, wolf packs that can be tied down with bungees or straps. It also has the uh, front battery box, um, battery kill switch, and all of our trailers come standard with a breakaway safety system. The Mean Bean has a two inch a ball coupler receiver. And then this is a new feature for us. Instead of the swing away system that we had in 2019, uh, the 2020 models actually have a removable front tongue. So when you get to your campsite from a, a security feature standpoint, you can actually remove the front tongue. So moving on to the front of the trailer, uh, the Mean Bean has a 10 degree pitch torsion axle, so plenty of ground clearance for you uh, to be able to take this off road. This trailer has a optional uh, rock slider here. This trailer has uh, an eye camper, a rooftop tent. So super nice to be able to get up here to be able to access the clipping points uh, to be able to open up the, tri the, the rooftop tent. The Mean Bean also has the, uh, the spare tire mounted on the, uh, the driver's sidewall of the trailer. And we have done this to be able to accommodate a much larger 18 gallon water tank um, underneath the trailer that has a skid plate. The, the Mean Bean on both sides has stand on fenders, again, for you to be able to get to some of those higher points. You can get onto the fender and you have plenty of, of waiting to be able to, to get to your rooftop tent or any other rooftop accessories uh, that, that you may want to use. We utilize the Thule Pro Bar system. This is rated uh, to uh, an industry standard of 220 pounds. Uh, it's the highest rated um, that, we, that we were able to source. Um, it can hold up to uh, 900 pounds of static weighting. Uh, so plenty of uh, capacity to be able to hold uh, two adults or th three children in a rooftop tent similar to the eye camper. So moving around here uh, to the back, all of our trailers come standard uh, with the 15 amp shore power. Uh, we've got a, a non-pressurized fill to be able to go into the 18 gallon water tank. And then the bean trailers do not come with a gray water tank. Uh, we have a threaded port here so that you can capture it into a gray water tank um, when, you're, when you're traveling. This galley has the premium plus galley configuration. Uh, this is newly designed for 2020. It has the stainless steel countertop with a stainless steel undermounted sink. I really like the faucet that we selected as it swivels down. So with our bypass door system, if you have any materials or pots or pans that you need to pull out, it's not going to interfere with the faucet. This galley configuration also has the 18 gallon water tank underneath. 
which frees up the under cabinetry uh, here underneath the sink to be able to put uh, a, a garbage can or any other pots and pans uh, that you may have. This has a lock-in fridge freezer tray system. Um, the premium plus galley configuration and the premium galley configuration um, have enough capacity to be able to house the NRF 45 fridge freezer. The premium plus galley configuration has the rack out stove and the expedition style fold out 18 inch partner still stove that you would connect to the 10 pound propane tank here on the passenger side of the trailer. If it's a windy or a rainy day, you can unclip this and then move it here to the galley area uh, to be protected from the elements. And then it just clips back on. And then using the leaf spring system. And then this has a lock out feature. Um, just from a safety perspective, if you have young children that may bump into the stove, um, you're not going to have any issue there. Some new development on the backsplash is we have the 12-volt uh, port uh, for any of your uh, cooking accessories or for a cell phone charger. Uh, also has a uh, 110 outlet uh, that is only activated if you're connected to shore power. Uh, lighting is a huge issue for us here at Bean Trailer. We didn't want to use the industry standard. Uh, we do have the industry standard dome light here, but it attracts way too many bugs when you're out in the field. Um, so we developed uh, this RGB track lighting. Um, so you can utilize a red or an amber light, or if you want to go party mode, um, you can select any color that may match uh, your tailgating needs. Uh, Mark Harling, the owner designer of Bean Trailer, his favorite accessory on the trailer uh, is this, uh, this patented uh, paper towel holder. Uh, we liked it so much that we actually did a build out on our rear hatch to be able to accentuate uh, that uh, paper towel holder. Uh, we actually recommend using the Blue Scots uh, heavy, uh, heavy duty paper towels uh, because they don't roll off in the wind. The, all of the galleys um, on the bean trailers feature the bypass door system uh, with the Trofast bin system. It's just great, super versatile uh, to be able to uh, access all of your items both here in the galley and inside of the, uh, the rear, uh, inside of the cabin. So let's move on uh, to the inside of the cabin to be able to show you the, the features and benefits. So the one thing that you'll notice right away uh, in the mean beam is that it does have one side operable window. And then over here on the driver's side of the trailer, uh, you now have an awesome sidewall to be able to do storage. Um, you can uh, buy some really nice shoe racks to be able to put over here on this side. Um, this is where the sidewall uh, spare tire mount is located. Uh, in addition, I uh, wanted to show you the, uh, our, our cubby system. This is our pseudo nightstand, anything that you would have at home, your grab and go type items. For my wife, she throws all of her candy up here. Uh, so when she has a little hankering, she can grab those quickly. The, uh, the trailer has uh, LED down lighting on both sides, dual USBs. And we have our key caddy where we put our phones here to be able to connect to the 12 volt again running off of the battery system. The side cubby does have uh, key uh, hang downs uh, to be able to organize. And then the most important accessory on the trailer uh, is the cup holder. That locks down. The, uh, the main being along with all of our trailers um, does have the recessed can lighting um, to be able to 
operate those on both sides of both the driver and passenger side it has the dimmable light switch this trailer has the upgraded vent fan with the uh, with the remote so super super convenient to be able to to utilize where you don't have to get up and, and utilize the uh, the touchscreen function here. The 2020 trailers have a newly designed uh, drawer system. We now have two large under drawers that have the cutaway reveal of the laminate. So quite a bit more storage than our 2019 versions. We have also included a, a new hardware system, a little bit easier to, to be able to, to open up uh, the cabinets. It has a bird latch system. You just put your finger um, through the system to be able to unlock that. Again, you have your Trofast system with the pass-through where you can access on both, both inside the cabin and in the rear galley. And then again with all the different trailers we do have the upper attic um, there is an option to be able to do accent lighting which would illuminate this area in the attic and then also inside of the cubby to be able to add uh, some more dramatic lighting inside of the trailer so moving on down here uh, this is your uh, this is your power station uh, we have an additional 12 volt power port, dual USBs. This is your charge wizard and your breaker and fuse box. And then you do have a dual uh, 110 outlets there. Again, this is a mean bean uh, that has the stand on fenders. And so you'll see a backer plate here, uh, stainless steel. Uh, with our beam there uh, insignia uh, laser cut out. You'll see that there are backer plates inside of the, the trailer. Uh, this is for the roof rack brackets uh, to be able to accommodate uh, the, uh, the roof rack system. Safety on board, uh, you do have a carbon monoxide and fire detector and fire extinguisher uh, in the, uh, uh, above the passenger side door. Uh, this trailer actually has two additional inches uh, inside of the uh, inside of the cabin versus our 2019 trailers. Um, just to be able to, to show you, I'm five foot five. Don't tell anybody, but I, I actually put five foot six on my driver's license. But you can tell I'm able to stand up to be able to get uh, clothes on in the morning inside of the trailer. So plenty of, of headroom inside of the trailer. Uh, this is a queen size mattress, so you can see I'm able to extend all the way out. Um, if you're a little bit taller, we recommend going to our website and being able to see our six foot seven engineer uh, get in here and see, sleep comfortably. If you're able to sleep on a queen size bed um, at home, you're going to be able to fit in here just fine. So again, that is a review of our 2020 Mean Bean. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll get right back to you. Or you can email us um, at richard at beantrailer.com or visit us at beantrailer.com um, and uh, leave us a, a note in the chat room and we'll get right back to you. Thank you so much and hope you've enjoyed this, this walkthrough.